I, I am having extreme anxiety right now trying to walk through this. Hello and welcome to the Black Hearts Club. Today I am out in Newcastle, Oklahoma at an event called the Newcastle Nightmare. It's a local haunt that I know practically nothing about. I'm excited to get in there and check it out. I know they have two different uh, kind of trails or, or events within the haunt itself. And I'll talk about each one of those a little bit later, but I want to go ahead and get in there and check them out. So join us if you dare. One, two, spooky five. So, right up in the front is the tickets and concessions. It looks like they've got mostly like snacks and some drinks and candy and stuff. And then that's also where you can buy your tickets if you didn't buy them in advance. Uh, and they're $15 for each line. Or if you get both of them, it's $25 for the bundle. We are about to walk in and there are three different kind of areas to walk through. One is actually an exit. To the left it says graveyard and that's for the eternal slumber cemetery. And then to the right says camp which is for Camp Carnage. These are the two events or the two trails if you will. One, they're both very different. The graveyard obviously it's a, it's a graveyard I would assume. And then Camp Carnage we're on the edge of the woods so I'm assuming it's uh, something to do with uh, a camp. Uh, I don't know uh, what kind of camp, but I'm excited to check it out. As you can see, they're ready for me. So I am going to start with the graveyard, and in we go. All right, so we are heading, oh my goodness, that was loud. All right. Did have a little technological issue, but got it all fixed. But it is so dark in here and so quiet. I got a little light here. All right, that's a mannequin, I think. Maybe an anima. Oh my god, I made my own sound and just scared the crap out of me. There we go. Got a little little ground lighting. Uh oh, I just saw a light come on. No. Oh god. Oh, okay, not a real person there. All right, the light's a little better here. It's eerie out here. Oh, there's someone over here. He's waiting for me, I think. He's following me with his head, and now he's moving. I don't love that. I've been walking for what feels like half a mile. Oh my good, oh, this is like a, like a full-size graveyard. And that's the queue. I see the humanoid feature again. Oh, I see a couple. One's laying on, oh, I see him moving. Oh my God. Oh man, it's not showing up. But there's a zombie coming. Luckily, the zombie hit a pole. And I think I'm okay for now. The eyes are freaky. <laughs> now we've got more lighting. This is a grave digger, I think. He's coming after me. Oh, shit! <laughs> I try not to swear, I promise. Uh oh. The infection will take you. <sighs> oh, I do not like this at all. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, awesome. And she's going, oh, look at all these hands. There's the just over there. How do you get over here? I 
guess I have to follow the fox. I don't see any other way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Even as I'm staring, it like still is jarring. Oh, sorry, but you're not gonna see anything in here. I can't see anything in here either. I feel like I feel like this isn't right. All right, I got the wall. I'm gonna follow the wall. Oh well, I at least can see some light up up ahead. But hearing someone follow you from behind, like. All right, so we came out right next to where we went in. So we are done in the cemetery. Now it's into the camp. Oh, there's that bell. It's at the back side of that same house, I think. But there's like a creeper on the porch, like just a torso. That is really well done. Ooh, he's throwing, throwing arms at me. I don't need a hand, thanks. Another house, oh, this is the house we saw in the other one. I can see the other side of it. Some giant spiders. They've definitely gotten some prey in the form of people. Oh, and they've got lots of fishing line hanging, so it feels like I'm walking through spider- Oh my god, there's a hand. I even heard him, too. This is kind of cool. Oh my god! Oh, well here's a sign for the camp. Welcome to Camp Carnage. It makes me, I want to know what it was supposed to spell. The lighting is a lot eerier than it's showing on the camera. Is it like a bear trap? Oh, hell no. Would you like to play? Absolutely not. Where's the voice coming from? Oh, oh hell play. no. Uh, is that where the voice is coming from though? Say hi? No, oh my god, I see it. I have no choice but to go that way. Come on. Say hi. Hi. Hello. This is my doll collection. Oh, let's look. Oh, that's frightening. She's I mean be beautiful. Forever. <sighs> you know, there's a there's a doll in California that keeps asking me that every year. <laughs> Do you want to meet my new friend? Sure. You'll meet her very soon. Oh, I don't love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Oh boy. Oh boy. See you again soon. <laughs> that is an eerie pink light. Oh, God. Hey. Oh, gee, you'd see her. Come back soon. Uh, bye. I'll be waiting here for you. I, I know you will. Oh, hell no. Those are hanging snakes. I think they're fake. I hope they're fake. I hate snakes. I, I am having extreme anxiety right now trying to walk through this. It's like, I know they're fake, but I can't help it. <sighs> it says, I would have turned back if I were you. Oh, God. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> it's an outhouse. I think we have to go into the outhouse. Let's see. Yep, no way around it. So, only through it. Oh, safety. 
<laughs> out of order. That is funny. So that's going to wrap up my night at Newcastle Nightmare. Had never heard of it before coming to Oklahoma, and I'm glad I did because for being what basically almost reads across as like a home haunt, it's a huge home haunt. Uh, I, I don't know how much space or like the acreage or whatever it's on, but it feels and plays very, very big. Uh, very well done. It's almost more like the anxiety or the um, you know, the anticipation of something happening really helped heighten it on top of the actual scares themselves. And there were definitely quite a few that got me. There wasn't a huge crowd here uh, for opening night, but my guess is they were going to meet her anyway. So you're really alone, uh, at least within your party, as you're going through it. Now, obviously, I'm a little bit slower than the average person might go uh, trying to wait for things to happen. But it was definitely like hands down it was it was an excellent event so for a rating i would give it nine out of 13 black hearts job very well done absolutely appreciated the hospitality they were extremely kind if you want to come visit uh, i didn't mention this but it's running every friday and saturday night from now until halloween and it's fifteen dollars for each maze if you only want to go through one and if you combo them, it'll be $25, so you'll save $5 overall. But we hope you like this type of content, and if so, make sure to join the club by slashing that subscribe button below. And until next time, we'll see you on the dark side.